Okay, so in yesterday's video, I did go off, but I feel justified in what I have to say, so I don't care if I got that freaking yellow sign because... Hold on a second. Hello? Yes! Oh! Alright, sure! Yeah! Alright, bye. Today's episode of Trainers React is sponsored by Funimation! Yo, dudes and dudettes, your friendly neighborhood Jack's Plate is back with another episode of Trainers React, the series where I use my knowledge of personal training and exercise science to analyze how effective the routines shown and how heavy are the dumbbells you lift, aka Dumbbru Nankiro Matero, aka Dumbbell Kilo Matero, how effective they actually are in real life, and what of this series is actually valid, and what of this series needs like a professional's opinion on. Like last week, I had some words to say about what Akemi was talking about with nutrition, so you can watch that all last week, and then it'll be fun to marathon this. But um, today's episode. Episode, it's just gonna be pretty fun like I, I go by the manga chapters I have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to expect for today's episode so uh, yeah this one should just be a nice little civil discussion and I can just add my little bits of knowledge in there and you know just give you all a nice fresh reaction and again thank you Funimation for sponsoring me I'll try to be on my best behavior so really quickly I want to say this before I start I listened to the dub last week because the dub is out now and since I have a link y'all can go check it out for yourselves but uh, yeah it was actually really good like the voice actress for Habiki nailed it like she did a phenomenal phenomenal job and she actually watches my videos so hi I just want to say I love your work you're amazing keep doing the great job so I really appreciate what you do you nailed that character like phenomenally so good work Oh, by the way, I actually did a live cover of this song, an English translation version of this song, last week with Megami33. Uh, she does Bulma on Team Four Star. Uh, like, she does a lot of other voices too. She's very talented. But like, we did a cover of that that y'all can go check out after this or just whenever the link comes up. Because I like, I'm glad I didn't have to sing. All I had to do was just be hype like Machio in the intro. But that was so much fun to do. So I just let go. Okay, okay, I gotta talk about this because this is one of the reasons I actually fell in love with the manga too. This is one of the like top 10 reasons I fell in love. They mentioned core times. That is such like a thing that trainers deal with and people who go to the gym deal with that it's, it's so funny that not a lot of people know about this. I remember when I brought it up before, they were like, core times, what are you talking about? And this is such a true thing. Let me pause this for a second. So at my gym, like ever since I was a kid, like around um, when I go to the gym, I've noticed a pattern for when the gym is uh, like empty and when the gym is like super packed. So for me, for example, uh, if you go at five in the morning, gym's empty, no one's awake yet. You go at six to seven though, then uh, usually people are trying to get in before work, so it can be a little busy. Then around like nine to 11 a.m., it's like pretty like, it's not busy, but it's not like, you know, super empty either. It's like a perfect balance. That's when I usually go because I like to get my workouts in the morning. I just think it's really fun to get a good workout in the morning. Then you feel like you can conquer the day. But then around 12 is when people go on lunch break and then they decide like, oh, I'm just going to go work out on my lunch break and good for them. Props to them. But, uh, the, the, it's so unreasonably packed that it's just sort of annoying but again this depends on which gym you go to I'm talking for my gym it, like around 12 it's like pretty packed and it's sort of annoying but then when you go at 1 it's empty it's like a barren wasteland empty it's like 1 to 2 p.m. like 2 30 p.m. it's like that's a good time frame to go and you know what sucks and I just realized that me saying this and I don't know how many people are gonna view this video so whatever number that is like you're probably gonna be like oh well now I know what to go and then they all go with that time and those times get busy but whatever I'm trying to help you all so you can get healthy and fit and fun but uh, around 3 p.m. 5 p.m. 6 7 all that jazz it's like it gets packed and just keeps getting more packed more packed I would never ever go to a gym at 5 p.m. anymore if I don't have to it is just so annoying I will stay at home and work out because I, I just can't deal with the packness it's so uncomfortable just to work out in a packed gym when everyone's just trying to get to places so but if you go at 8 p.m. then it usually starts to die down I've noticed and then um, yeah but again this is just from my experience and this is pretty much every gym from my experience has this thing where it is like this time it is busy but this time it's not this time is uh, very busy and then this time it's like not at all so I love that little aspect that they brought in because that is something not enough people know and I, I just I love it I love that little concept like chef's kiss <laughs> I love how 
lot of some caveats. Cause I, I mean, like, I don't try to be like uh, negligible or anything like that. But it's like, I, I, it's the same way. Like, it's just like you're only gonna come for this amount of time and leave. Like that is me during New Year. Like there is a certain time during New Year where you see people come and swarm to the gym. And then like, it's a little taper off effect where you notice like, okay, um, these people will be here and how, how many of them are gonna stay consistent. So it was like the first week, all right, you're still here. Second week, a lot of them dropped off. Third week, a lot drop off. But if you can make it through three weeks, then I believe that you're gonna make it through the entire year. But if you're only there for like a week or two, then it's like, okay, you're gonna drop off. But if you get to third week, your third week, you're building up those neural pathways for consistency. So that means like, I, I'm, I'm all for you, my dude. You gotta keep at it, you keep going. So don't give up on yourself. Okay, pause. Let's talk about the machine bench press right now. So I actually agree with Machio right here with what he's talking about, how a lot of people have their strong opinions on the thing. Like it's just, that's natural in the physical community. You're just used to that. Like everyone has a belief that they believe and they'll fight over it. So you know, just crap like that, it's common. But um, you know, there are a lot of people like Akemi and there are a lot of people like Machio. Uh, my personal opinion is this, if you have dumbbells and barbells, always use them primarily over machines just first. Like if you have, they are your first go-to. So if you have a barbells and dumbbells and you have a good amount of weight, always go to them first because they are far better for building strength and muscle mass. Like trust me, you will see far faster increases in your strength and muscle mass if you're using barbells compared to a machine because of the cables and stuff like that. But that does not negate that machines are useful in regards if you don't have anything else to do or if you um, are like at a hotel and all they have is a machine and it's just like, okay, well I could do some push-ups in the machine, then you can actually get a great workout in. Again, all you gotta do is focus on the eccentric portion of the lift. And I know some people were saying like last week that, oh, the eccentric isn't that important. And it's just like, it's literally half the lift. So yeah, focus on it. And this helps so many people just increase their strength and muscle mass if you test it out for yourself. You can literally feel it for yourself when you concentrate on the eccentric, lowering it down. So people just do this and that's different. That's for a different type of training mentality. But if you actually get the weight, like if you're a machine bench press, right? and you press the weight up, and then when you get to the top, you not only contract, but you flex the pecs. You feel like, oh my God, my titties are about to burst out my bra, and you get it right there, and then you slowly let it down. Now, some people lose count when they do this because they go one, 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 two, three, and then they lose count. What I like to do is like to go one, A, B, C, D, two, A, B, C, D. Because now I'm just going, I'm focusing on a great lowering tempo and I'm getting better strength and muscle results by working at a deeper level. Like the hypertrophy I've experienced and my clients have experienced is far greater when you do something like this. And then to take it up to the next level, what you can do is superset that with push-ups. So I love push-ups. Again, on my channel, y'all know I'm a colossal Dragon Ball fan. Hell, I'm wearing Goku's little tracksuit right here. So I think you can't get enough push-ups in your day. It's one of my best exercises that I constantly recommend people do. And uh, what you can do with that is, when you superset those chest machine presses with the push-ups, that is just going to over progressively overload your muscle and it's going to give you such a burn in the triceps, the chest, the shoulder muscle. You're just gonna be like, oh my God, it feels so good. Like you're gonna be acting like a Kemi and ooh. Damn, <laughs> this is, okay, this is one of those episodes, okay. <laughs> I gotta bring this up for a second. You know what's funny is the last couple episodes, if you compare them to the manga, like the fan service was greatly toned down. It, like it was like, um, compared to the like fan service of the manga, it was greatly toned down. But here is like this episode, they, they like making up for lost time apparently. I mean like, damn girl, mm. Wow, all right. <laughs> yeah, <bubba. laughs> yeah. Okay, yep, sorry. Just had a memory distraction there for a second. I apologize to my viewers watching this. To go back to what I was saying, personal trainer wise, personal trainer brain. Uh, yeah, just always, you know, try a variety of things. That's how Arnold became one of the best bodybuilders, you know, just trying a variety of things. Like, just making sure you stay safe. Don't go too heavy on the weight. You just see a machine and go, oh, okay, I want to try that out in addition to myself. But never replace. You always do these things like, as in addition, like supplemental training, not like the main source of your training. If you have barbells or dumbbells,
dumbbells. Those are the kings and queens of this the gym. You use them whenever you can. But if you have a machine and you want to try it out or incorporate it into your chest machine, I mean chest routine, apologies right there, then you know, just give it a whirl. Just see how you feel from it, and you know, you should get a pretty nice pump so you can side the chest. <laughs> Yeah, Ayaka's joining, and she already thinks Machio's hot just from his face. She didn't even see his body. Look at that. Look at that. Look, I'm envious. I'm envious. At and I know some people last week said, like, Jax, your face is attractive. Okay, look, I don't think I'm ugly. Some people were saying, like, no, no, that's not the case at all. I'm just honest. With, I know my level of looking, all right? I am not all that unless my body's involved, all right? Like, to me, 10 is something like, I don't know. Zach Efron, Chris Evans, right? And then like, I, one, I'm not gonna say because that's just rude. So yeah, something like that, you know, down at the bottom. And so for me, I just think average. Average, good looking face. When I have a haircut, fresh cut, you know, I look pretty good. I probably put myself at like a 6.5 that day. My body, in addition to that, makes me around, I would say a seven or eight, and then that what makes me snack worthy, all right? But like, nah, 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 I don't have a face. Like if I just walked in the room and no one noticed me, I'd just be like, oh, that's a guy. That's a guy. I know this, and I'm not saying it to get like compliments like that. I'm saying because I know the truth. I know the truth. I'm not one of those people. So I just need my body involved in a nice haircut, and then I'm a six. 6.5 out of 5. Actually, I'm an 8 all over all. Cook up all over. So yeah, yeah, I'm a snack. <laughs> I love the reaction faces. <laughs> so damn good. Uh, that's why you, you get a group of friends and all of you get one of those reaction faces and just put it on your Discord. That'd be great. As a matter of fact, I'm going to message the guys and ask that. See, I love how they're talking about Xion. And for those of you who don't know, Xion is Xion's um, Akemi's older sister, who's one of the main protagonists, uh, or one of the characters in Kengen Ashura. All right, so she's uh, Akemi's older sister in Kengen Ashura. And we're about to meet someone else from Kengen Ashura because they're about to watch a certain DVD. Okay, so pause for a second. This little thing Akemi says about, um, like, I I believe, like, oh, if you enjoy movies, you should go to a theater, or I, I believe, like, I'm gonna, um, I, if you want to work out, go to the gym. I can partially agree with that. Now, me personally, I'm glad I have a home gym. Like, I, I still think, like, someone with their type of mansion should have a home gym just because it's, like, this situation they wouldn't be in right now. They could get a good weight work in. But, um, the whole thing about, like, oh... Uh, if you want to really work out, go to the gym. Uh, I, cause I feel like going to the gym is a different sort of energy. Like I mentioned in the first episode, it's just like, it's big man energy. Like for me, when I go to the gym, that is like eighties action movie, like training montage energy all pumping through me to like go to the gym. But if I train on my own, that is like Goku, Vegeta, Gravity Room, uh, Yujiro Hanma soloing U.S. armies, stuff like that type of training. So it's a different sort of feeling. So I can partially agree with what she's saying, but again, I still feel like in this type of house, you should definitely have like a big ass just gym. Like, I mean, it'd just be so convenient. There he is, Toji Ozu for my Kengen Ashura fans. All right, so people who don't know or haven't read it because, you know, again, it's same universe and stuff like that. This is a fighter from Kengen Ashura. Like in the last episode they had the, well in episode 2 they had the Muay Thai fighter. This is also a fighter from Kang and Ashra who works for um, Akemi's older sister in their little tournament bracket. Well he did work before something happened. So anyways, it, 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 I just love what they do that. I love that the fact they're crossing over. But it does make me again a bit salty that since Kengen, which is coming to Netflix July 31st, you can check it out there. It's going to be CGI animated. It's so well done 2D that I just, I can't, I, I really am just like, oh man, I wish Kengen could have gotten a 2D thing like, you know, Baki 2018 and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, them's the bricks, I guess. I'm so glad I got Donburu and that's all I really need. But again, this is like a cool little fun fact for all y'all out there. So hopefully you go read Kengen Ashura. See, when I was a teenager, I actually did this exact same thing. And uh, all the stuff they're talking about with dips is legit. Though, don't let your shoulders, you know, hunch forward. Always push them back and then do it. That's just a way to keep your shoulders safe. Trust me on that. It just, I, I researched so much when I effed up my shoulder, like how to keep it safe when doing certain exercises I really love doing. So always, you know, push it back and then just focus on slowly going down and slow and controlled. Every, everything is always better slow and controlled in my opinion. Just ask your girlfriend or your boyfriend, whatever you're into. Oh God, here we go. 
<laughs> I don't know why my ass is laughing because this shit happened to me too. This shit legit happened to me when I was a teenager. Like I remember it so vividly clearly. My parents were so mad. My parents, oh god, they were so pissed off. So that's why I actually invested in getting one of those things you can get from Amazon. Those little dip stands with like the black bars and stuff like that that you just go and do your dips on because oh my god, that was so embarrassing. I busted my knee. I I could not run properly for a few days because I did the exact same thing Kabiki did there. Like it just gave out. It gave out and I effed up my knee. Uh, <laughs> so, so. <laughs> oh, make sure it's stable, kids. This is definitely the fan service episode, all right? I am seeing just so much memories this episode. I complain, but it's just like, yep, fan service. They kicked it up this one. All right, yeah, I'm digging it. You can do a push-up at the bottom too, yeah? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, so let's talk about burpees. Burpees are actually one of my personal favorite exercises of all time. I love them so much, I, I don't know why I'm saying I love them, actually, because that's such a lie, because, you know, the more I think about it, like, all right, this is the best way to put burpees. There are a lot of suffering that end up being very rewarding, if you know what I mean, if that makes sense. All right, for example, like, when you do them, it's just like, I hate my life, but when you finish, you're just like, I feel so accomplished. And they are just one of the best, like, conditioning exercises, fat burning exercises you can do. I love them. I love incorporating burpees into routine. They're even better if you have a pull-up bar, because if you have a pull-up bar, you can do an extremely effective full body workout where you jump down, do a push-up, do the burpee, then jump back up, and then do a pull-up, and then you just keep alternating that. And if you did something like that for 15 minutes i don't care who you are player i don't care who you are that burns you out you're gonna be on the floor like that's one of the benefits of burpees they are just one of the best exercises because they hit everything and they just make you just feel like oh my god i actually put in work like this these are the exercises that will make you feel like a superhero if you can get through them like honestly uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna make a circuit of like a 15 minute burpee workout you can do because like I truly do believe like if you have no equipment what to do burpees one of the best like if you want to get anything get nice strong abs nice strong arms nice strong pecs nice cardiovascular endurance stamina all that jazz burpees are the goat they are one of the best things you can do I love them to death just make sure you land softly you're not like landing outside of the, your form you're like not just clamping down on the ground that's gonna do horrible horrible damage to your knees so just make sure you land softly hop softly do all of that you will get a phenomenal workout for it I love burpees I think they are like one of the things that um, it's like a stuff that the stuff that's the most challenging and you don't want to do are some of the stuff that's usually the, the best for you because I really do love burpees I I hate them when doing them but I just I think they're so great and I think that's one of the reasons why I got the D's last legs because I do incorporate them into my personalized routine for my D's last legs. Shirts coming soon like I mentioned before. So yeah I just I love this I love this and damn Akemi what is with the fan service this episode? Mm. I actually love this background music. This is like really energizing background OST like I love this. Also, I love the fact that Akemi and Ayaka are the fittest ones, and Satomi and Habiki are just like, oh god. Oh my god, I sweat! <laughs> oh god, it's like I'm trying to be professional, but then it's just like, sweaty, fit girls, do your thing. And I was just like, nope, 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 professional, professional, professional. Funimation is sponsoring this, you gotta be professional. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Alright, getting those sand sprints now, just like Epo and Rocky 3, that's great. Alright, let's pause for a second here. Alright, so... I love that. I love the fact that Ayaka, the most ripped one, is incorporating sprints because sprints are one of the best fat burning exercises you can do to just help you lean out and keep that muscle mass and just actually build muscle in your legs too because it's an anaerobic movement because it doesn't use enough oxygen because it's such a fast short burst movement. But it looks like they're jogging right now, but that doesn't matter. But uh, sprinting on the beach has a lot of benefits. Like actually, if you run on the sand, you know it's far harder than running on the ground. I, like not harder literally but harder figuratively because it's working those small stabilizing muscles in the feet and knees and ankles and trying to work harder on them it makes them work harder instead of like um working on 
regular roads and stuff like that. So that's why if you have a beach near you, like sprinting on the beach is one of the best things you can do. I love when boxers do it or when you see characters do it immediately. Like I wish I had a beach right next to me because this would just be like one of my morning routines to go because it's like actually, oh, I love it. I love it so much. Such a great, fantastic exercise. I love how they got all the girls like doing the workouts with you at the end of each episode. Now, I just, I really, I know I've said this the last three times, but it's so great that it's getting people to work along with them. You know what? I'll do it along with them. Hold on a second. Let me, all right, let me get in the position. Let me rewind this, all right? All right. All right, let's do this. All right. You can't see my hands, but I'm fit, so you trust that I'm doing it, right? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Don't you dare tip over, laptop. I'm breathing, Akemi. Seven. Oh, yeah, they are. Nine. I'm also on a wheelie chair, so I better not slip. Yeah, yeah, I can work those abs. Dean. Fourteen. I'm gonna work my titties, guys. Yeah. 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 I don't need no breather, girl. I got stamina for days. Yeah. Next time I'll use my actual bar. <laughs> oh god. That was always funny. I might actually at the end of these I might do the exercise along with them if I have the equipment. I also love their JoJo poses at the end too. I love it. I love it. It's so great. Well, dudes and dudettes, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I hope you learned something. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down the below and that bell icon. I got tons of videos coming, not just Don Brew videos. And I also got a ton of other stuff on my channel from Would That Work Outs where you can look at other characters I've analyzed their routines with that aren't as straightforward as Don Brew. And also my characters from, um, uh, Tough like the tunes, my babies, my characters will actually do the workouts so you can follow along with them and see the programs. You know, like try out various routines of your favorite characters. Trust me, I know I got at least one of you. And for those of you who actually want to watch Don Bruno and Akira Matero, I have a link for you. Yes, isn't that awesome? All you gotta do is go to funimation.com slash jacksblade or whatever this link says right here if it didn't get it right the first time. But yeah, I hope you can enjoy the series. It's gonna give you a nice free couple days and uh, you know you can see for the series for yourself and hopefully if you want to stay consistent with it you know just go enjoy it i really hope you enjoy the series as much as i do and again if you want like to actually get a program you know a program so you actually get motivated to go to the gym check my description box down below i have a routine for the gym i have a routine for home i have and a routine to help you build up your motivation and willpower so check that all down in the description box below and be sure to follow me on my twitter at jacks play fitness <sighs> but anyways remember like i always say keep calm Booyah on, and don't forget, moment tie. Now, nice boat canoe, and stay macho. Booyah.